Hi, this is an unscheduled video to this crash course and that's because this video is a correction video. I made a mistake in the last video where we talked about ozone and radiation in the atmosphere. Now, radiation is something that I don't study as part of my PhD, it's not something that I have specialist knowledge of. And it showed because I got something quite fundamental wrong. I got an email from a postdoc at Oxford who, if you're watching by the way, thank you very much for pointing this out and thank you for watching. Um, where I made a, a key mistake in saying that nitrogen and oxygen in the atmosphere absorb long wavelength radiation, so they absorb the thermal wavelengths. That's not true. Carbon dioxide and methane and similar compounds actually do the absorbing of thermal radiation, and that's something which we're going to talk about in greater depth in a future video. I wrongly assumed that nitrogen and oxygen did the same thing, basically, and I didn't do enough research. So I'm sorry to you that I made a mistake, but uh, I I thought it was important enough to merit a corrections video. Trust me, it's embarrassing to get something wrong when it's um, this fundamental, this basic, but it's more important to be correct in education than it is to have an intact ego. So, correction to the last video, nitrogen and oxygen don't absorb thermal wavelengths in the atmosphere, instead that's carbon dioxide and methane. Seeing as I'm here, I may as well also say thank you very much to everyone who's engaged with the series so far. It's been wonderful to read your comments, and I'd just like to say that if you are enjoying this series, then please do comment and leave likes and favourite and all that kind of stuff, because that's how I know that this kind of content is being appreciated. If this gets a good enough response, and to be honest, it's getting a very good response so far, but if it gets uh, more comments and more likes, then I will start planning more series like this in the future. They are a lot of work, but um, if they're well received, I don't mind that. So if you want to see more of this stuff, then do support it by commenting. Equally, if you would like to support this series and my other videos financially, then you can do so. I just set up a Conoz page, which is a, a great educational website that allows you to track your progress through educational series like this one. Um, but you also have the opportunity to donate to the creator, which is me. Uh, so if you would like more of this kind of content, and if you'd like it better, then you can absolutely donate there. Equally, if you don't have the money or don't want to, then that's absolutely fine, because I realise that a lot of people watching this are students and you don't have the money to spare. So, yeah, but if you would like to support me, then that's how you can do it for people who've been asking. Thank you very much for watching, and normal service, hopefully without any mistakes, will be resumed in a couple of days where we're talking about the stratospheric polar vortex. Okay, so here's my workbook. It's important because it's a book and I like books and it's got my work in. That's my laptop, which has got the scripts for the Crash Course videos in. That's my Japanese peace lily. Always important to keep that around because it keeps the air oxygenated. That's my water, hell hydrate. 